Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan here with the WWE Backlash post-show review. Now, Juan was actually supposed to do this video. I apologize for that noise, by the way. Juan was supposed to do this video, but uh, some personal things came up. So, uh, there wasn't actually supposed to be a video, but you know what? I said, what the hell, let's let's do a pay-per-view review here, because some, some stuff went down. So, if you hear some noise in the background... That's because the uh, the Patriots game is still going on as of this recording. I'm walking away from that to do this review. But uh, it was a show that I really wanted to talk about right away anyway, so I'm happy to give my thoughts. So let's jump right into it. First, we had the women's match. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch versus Carmella versus Naomi versus Natalia versus Nikki Bella in a six-pack elimination challenge for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Very surprised to see Becky Lynch uh, win this, but pretty awesome. I was expecting there to be a, sort of a bigger chase with Becky winning it, but it's clear uh, that they want to establish Becky as the you know the go-to face for the SmackDown Women's Division, which I think is great. And Nikki and Carmella, I guess they wanted to have a meaningful feud on the side that maybe won't involve the title, at least for a little while. So totally cool with this. Um, there were some awkward spots in this match, but otherwise I, I thought it, it was fine, uh, especially Naomi uh, with Natalia spot over the ropes. Wow, something maybe something good happened down there if you could if you could hear that yelling. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, there was just a few awkward moments there just trying to get everybody out of the ring so we could focus on two competitors at a time. but happy to see Becky win. Moving on, Hypros versus the Usos. Really, really digging this new style and new look of the Usos. Getting rid of the face paint, darker gear, um, not working as flashy of a style. Finishing, you know, finishing them off with a submission move. I really dig that. So, uh, just I, I really like this this new add to the Usos. It's something they totally, totally needed. So, good match there. Next up, we had. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. They continued this Daniel Bryan Miz stuff at the beginning before the match with Miz saying um, he's going to, you know, he wants a contract, renegotiation, and stuff like that. So, not really sure where they're going with this because um, I thought. They were kind of going to be done with that because obviously Dana Bryan can't wrestle. So what do we do there? I'm not too sure. I'm interested to see where it goes, but it's just a little sad because we know we're not going to get a match with Daniel Bryan. Uh, nevertheless, I think these guys had a great match. I really loved uh, The Miz just working more ruthless, just more brutal, doing surfboard stretches. Really, I feel like trying to send a message to Daniel Bryan and... This fire from the Miz, I just, I absolutely love it. So, really cool to see that. Um, we get some mace going on here. Maurice sprays uh, the, um, not the Miz, but Ziggler with some mace to get the win. I expect uh, this, you know, Miz is one of the few true heels. So, I thought that was okay. Um, moving on to Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. So, earlier on in the night, um... It, before even the show, well, there was speculation that Randy Orton would not be able to compete. I think he's uh, still recovering from injuries. Maybe he hasn't been cleared for uh, since he fought Lesnar. Um, so they couldn't do this match, nevertheless. He was not cleared to wrestle. So the way to kind of get around this was to have Bray Wyatt attack Randy Orton's leg so that he was unable to compete storyline-wise. Um, this led to... Uh, Bray Wyatt, you know, forcing a count out to win the match against Randy Orton, technically. But then we got a no-holds-barred match with Bray Wyatt versus Kane. Um, fine match, cool uh, table spot with the announced table. But Bray Wyatt can't even get a win against Kane. That's, I mean, LOL, that's really all I gotta say to this. Of course, it was because Randy Orton came out, RKO'd Wyatt then Kane gets the choke slam to win. So obviously the interference of Randy Orton is the reason Bray Wyatt lost. But still, it's like for someone like Bray Wyatt who seems to never catch a break, even getting costs uh, a match because of interference, the loss still feels really really bad, man. So uh 
Bray Wyatt, man. I mean, no wonder, like, you, you see why I, I just want to give up on the poor guy, even though he's got so much potential. There you have it. There you have it. Like Renee Young would say. Anyway, um, Heath Slater and Rhino versus the Usos tag team match playa. Heath Slater and Rhino won. Heath Slater is a champion. Heath Slater won and is the inaugurable, inaugurable, I said that weird, SmackDown tag team champion along with Rhino beating the Usos. I thought this was a, a great match. Awesome, awesome, awesome to see Slater and Rhino win. I really didn't expect that uh, once we saw the Usos heading in there. It seemed like, man, they got this new style, new heel turn. They're gonna they're gonna start the brand as the, the as the tag champs carry it for a while. And uh, Slater would be this great story of getting so close and falling just short. But hey, I'm really happy to see Slater finally get some appreciation. Um, finally get a, a pat on the back from WWE saying, this is what, you know, you deserve this for, you've done so much for us, it's time we give back to you. And uh, WWE finally gave back to Heath Slater tonight. And I love that. I absolutely love it. And they're a fun tag team, him and Rhino. So I, I'd like to see this continue for a while. And Heath Slater's now officially on SmackDown. He is no longer a free agent. So that's pretty awesome. Finally, we have the main event, Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles. Great match. Uh, match of the night, for sure. AJ is just, he cannot be stopped. There were a couple brutal moments that I loved. Um, they really used the ring post tonight. Not just this match, but everyone really utilized these new ring posts that have kind of some covering over it, so it makes a good sound. And it seems more effective, even if it probably is better for the the competitors to hit um yeah that, there was a baseball slide that dean ambrose did to aj that was also brutal uh i thought this was a great match cool to see um even though there was a ref bump shenanigans low blow whatever i like that aj won with the styles clash and aj is your wwe world champion which is just awesome i mean the guy has been he's had such so much momentum that it's just really cool to see. So overall thoughts on the show, I thought uh, this was a good show. My my only kind of detractor for this is that it lacked a real big pay-per-view feel for me. And obviously, I think things like Randy Orton not even being able to compete uh, kind of took away from that. Um, SmackDown has a much uh, smaller roster and they're trying to do a three-hour pay-per-view. So all things considered for the roster they have for a three-hour pay-per-view, I thought they did an excellent job. It didn't feel like they were dragging their feet too much. So I really uh, I give them uh, a ton of credit for that. So AJ Styles is your new WWE Champion. Really looking forward to seeing where things go on SmackDown this Tuesday. We're going to be having uh, a lot of discussion about Backlash, Raw, and SmackDown this coming Wednesday, the new time for the Bite That Podcast, Wednesday nights. So make sure to check that out to hear Juan and Keith's thoughts on Backlash as well as all of our thoughts on Raw and SmackDown. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this show, what was your favorite match, what do you think of AJ Styles becoming WWE Champion, was Dean Ambrose's title reign too short-lived, should he be you know, the flag bearer for SmackDown for a while? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to also check out some of our other videos, including our SRTs and plenty of other good stuff. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.